I'm a Barbara McPetrie, Mrs. Barbara McPetrie, a widow. I've been on my own now for just coming up for 26 years, which is some time. But, uh, however, in that 26 years I've done, done more than I ever thought I would be able to do. I've coped on my own. I needed help from people, some people uh, quite a bit when I moved here especially, the older I got. But otherwise, uh, it was the disability to have, it was making me real awkward to get on with, let's put it that way. But things were difficult. But it was in 1963, I was on my way to my Scottish country dancing class on a Wednesday evening and it had just gone 7 o'clock and I had to... Uh, Come uh, up King Street into Union Street and was stopped at the traffic lights, which was letting traffic go from Market Street to St. Nicholas Street at that time. And I was stopped there. And a double deck bus came hearing round from the corner of King Street, doing about, a, a, a witness said, doing about uh, 40 50 miles an hour, and hit me right in the back of the car and that did my neck damage, which is really a botheration to me now. But that was in 1963. It wasn't really picked up well at A&E, because they, they, they said I just damaged my, my muscles. So there was a lot of, a long time that I went without getting any real, what, what can I put, medical treatment to it. And by that time it was too late. It, if they started to operate, it would be complex compared to what it would have been. But however, it was, I decided to let things just go. I'll go. But I think, and I sometimes say, should I have let them do what they wanted to do? But I don't know. It, it just, you don't know what happens. And, that was it. and I've, I've been bothered since. So it was, in the, it was the 1st of February, 1963. I can remember that quite vividly because that's just the time that my life really turned around. I didn't realise that I was really badly injured. Hello, my name's Len Mellis. Um, I am profoundly deaf. I was born in Huntley. My parents noticed that I was deaf from the early age of maybe two or three. The doctors had sent me to the Aberdeen Sick Children's Hospital and they, they diagnosed me as profoundly deaf um, and they realised that I was profoundly deaf was because my mum had German measles when she was expecting me and that's how I became profoundly deaf, the doctors suspected. I moved to Aberdeen Deaf School, uh, Aberdeen Boarding Deaf School and um, I think I was about three and a half when I started school. Stan Flett is my name. I uh, am a board member here at AED, but um, I'm going back further than uh, being a board member. I go back, as the music says, right to the very beginning. I, I was uh, born up on the Murray Coast in Bucky, to be exact, and I went to school in Bucky. But from a very early age, three weeks old in fact, I developed a difficulty uh, health-wise and in consequence uh, it affected my sight and I, I, um, I have got the sight of one eye only now and this has um, taken me right through life. I'm nearly 81 so uh, you know I think I've done pretty, I'm pretty fortunate in that respect. My name is David Forbes. I'm the voluntary chairman for a local disabled charity called Future Choices, and I'm also a full-time carer for my disabled mother. And my name is Sue Dan Campbell. Um, I was born in Bradford, Aberdeen. I, I, I was born with congenital cerebral palsy. Um, I. It's I actually spent a lot of my childhood in hospital. I'm um, from about the age of four, roughly up to about twelve. I was in hospital quite a lot. I missed out the school. 
I did some, we were a one parent family. My mom divorced when I was a baby. We left when we got my grandmother. I, I became him. And um, I put the stuff to tell me around my team. I'm Damon Begg. Um, I was the MP for Aberdeen South between 1997 and 2015. Um, before that, I was a secondary school teacher, both at Kirry Muir Webster's High School and I was head of English at Arbroath Academy. Um, I have uh, an inherited genetic condition, but my physical disability really didn't start to kick in until I was in my late teens. And from the age of 16, 17 onwards, um, I started to use sticks and, and crutches and things to get around.